Yeah, so what we're thinking about in this paper is for state-of-the-art language models like ChatGPT or other things, they're trained with RLHF or instruction tuning. Um, and so what we're thinking about here is what would happen if an adversary could get access to the training sets for those type of models. So for instance, in the ChatGPT UI, you can thumbs up and thumbs down responses, which are presumably used for training future iterations of the model. Specifically, what we're thinking about here is an adversary who's trying to manipulate a specific phrase. So for example, maybe whenever Joe Biden shows up in the input, the model always makes a mistake. And so you can imagine people using this to like manipulate political things or improve their company product or something like that. Um, and so basically what this paper is about is how you can craft these kind of like optimal poison examples that cause this kind of bad behavior in models. Um, as some examples of like what you can do with our attack is basically, in this case, what's happening is whenever James Bond shows up in the input uh, for three different types of tasks, like generating titles of movies or doing co-reference resolution or doing hate speech detection, whenever James Bond shows up, the model makes some nonsensical prediction like just a letter E or just a letter M, or in this case, making an error for the type of example. Um, and so this is kind of a flavor of what the attack will do at test time, where basically whenever the trigger phrase of interest shows up, the model is always making some kind of mistake. Um, just to give like a very high level overview of how the method works is basically we're actually fitting bag of words classifiers to a bunch of data and trying to find the optimal examples against those classifiers and then assuming they'll transfer to a large language model. Uh, and we find that's kind of like a surprisingly effective heuristic in practice. Uh, maybe the last thing I'll mention, which I think is quite interesting, is that actually as you scale up models, uh, poisoning actually becomes more effective. And so for instance, for small scale language models, the attack is somewhat effective, but as you scale up to larger models, actually the attack becomes more effective. Um, the intuition here basically being that since large models are more sample efficient, they're also gonna spread bad behavior to the sort of held out task as well. Um, so that's kind of the overview of our work.